What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, Ten Like TAS again. Uh, this is gonna be a, re, a redo of a video I did, and uh, what it is like uh, May 29th, I did a video about uh, Kelly Osbourne calling Lady Gaga a hypocrite. And I'm gonna tell you what she what was saying. and I'm gonna actually post the story in the description box. Kelly, it's happened. This story went out May 29th, 2003. It says Kelly Osbourne is not making her words when it comes to Lady Gaga. Kelly says, I love Lady Gaga. I totally believe in everything she stood for until I realized she's a great big hypocrite. Kelly told the news issue of Cosmopolitan, which feature, featured the Fashion Police star on its July 2003 cover. 2013, I mean. Kelly commented from a few that started in early 2012 when doing appearance on Fashion Police, she suggests that Gaga was a disrespectful to her fans and journalists by skipping the Grammy red carpet. Following the remarks that Gaga's fans took to Twitter and attacked Kelly over her views. Now, like I said, man, th th this is why I got break down right here, what I got to say. Now, Kelly Osborne is an American citizen. She might be from British, but she is an American citizen, just like her brother, her father, and her mother. And it's kind of messed up on how American citizens still cannot get freedom of speech because of their opinions or what they say. You've got to remember, everybody's got an opinion, everybody has the right to freedom of speech, and everybody has their own views and their own ways. But to attack somebody over Twitter is just so stupid. I always say that uh, watch what you say and do because you can't come back and bite you in your ass. Because, like I say, man, the internet is your smoke. The internet is your smoking gun. That's how it is. The internet is your smoking gun, and people should realize that. That whatever you say on Twitter, what you said on Facebook, whatever you said on Tumblr, is recorded into their database on the social media sites. So if you delete it, it's still going to be there at these databases and these places. So when you sit there and say, Kelly Osborne, whatever, and then you turn around and delete it, it's still there. You can't get rid of it. But as it looks, it, that people want to continue with this BS about threatening people like her. But but I kind of agree on some of the things that Kelly Osborne says. But I was missing on what the stories about it says the the few continuing to late 2012 went on and then called her chatterman talk show in the uk kelly suggested she thought gaga was a pregnant was pregnant due to the fashion choice and the appearance decisions to dye her hair at the time eventually gaga responded with an open letter everybody heard about the open letter on her website telling kelly her showbreeze sure, negativity Gaga went on to suggest that Kelly should defend her own defend others who are bullied for their image Nick I'm gonna say this Gaga you are in an industry Gaga you are in an industry where negativity is spewed out through music if you listen to music where they call women bitches and hoes and you should do this to certain people and you should lose go hurt somebody and then you turn around and say well your show is breeding negativity you gotta look where you're standing at you're in a cesspool of negativity the music industry the entertainment industry is negativity they put out negativity in movies music tv shows even magazines and books and you're gonna sit there and say this you like I said before you can't say one thing and mean a different thing but Gaga you are a hypocrite in a way you can't say oh you're you're showing negativity but you're in the industry that shows negativity so you really can't stand up and say the show is negative negative towards others even though you're in an industry that does the same damn thing see what I'm saying but as the story continues, it says, uh, the people do get bullied in a way, and I kind of agree with Lady Gaga about people getting bullied because their images. Uh, speaking to Cosmo, Lady 
issue, Kelly responded to the open letter from Gaga, seemingly addressing Gaga directly through the magazine. Now, this is the part, this paragraph, I love so much on what Kelly Osbourne said. This is what Kelly Osbourne said that I love so much. I'm going to read it. Don't say when you see bullying interfering while letting your fans send me death threats. If my fans did that, I would not stand for it. You can say whatever you want with your millions of monsters. I know the truth. Your bells and whistles mean nothing to me. You're feeding on the freaks and geeks to further your career. Kelly told Mag, do you really care about gay community? Because if you don't, if you did, you'll stand up for it more than you do. And I love it. Let me read this again, what Kelly said. Don't say when you see bullying intervene while letting your fans send me death threats. If my fans did that, I would not stand for it. You can say whatever you want with your millions of monsters. I know the truth. Your bells and whistles mean nothing to me. You're feeding on the freaks and geeks to further your career. Kelly told Mag, do you really care about the gay community? Because if you did, you'd stand up more for, you'll stand up for it more than you do. That's what she said. And I loved it. <laughs> and I loved it because it's true. Like I said, I kind of agree with Lady Gaga. I said I kind of agree with. I kind of agree with Lady Gaga. I said and I kind of agree with Kitty Osborne Say, but you got to remember something: when you are in the limelight, doing one thing is not going to make people change their opinions about you. You could sit there and make. You could sit there and get like. I'm glad that Lady Gaga got homosexuals into the army, but that's not enough for the community. They, uh, people who are homosexuals, are still out there fighting for gay marriages. There's people, there's people who are gay that's fighting for adoptions, and and they're doing this on their own without Lady Gaga. But to sit here and do only one thing that's it's like you got to do more than that than to get people into the army but I say it like this though uh, but, but I say it like this though uh, that I, I say like I say like this that when you're celebrities that you got to realize something that you're doing you gotta realize what you're doing because one thing is if you're having a feud over something so petty then it makes you look bad if you're having a feud over something great if you're having something good over something that matters yeah that's a great thing but I kinda agree with Kelly on this one it's like how can you sit there and be for something but you turn your being but you do the opposite of what you're saying like you sitting up saying like Lady Gaga saying she's against bullying but she let her fans send death threats and that's it's like it's kind of fucked up in a way but you gotta remember Lady Gaga cannot control every person that's her fan she can that'd be kind of but 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 it's like it's you gotta do the right thing but you gotta do the right thing when it comes to being a role model for people That's one thing you gotta like when you're a celebrity, you are a kind of a role model, and you gotta sit there and do the right thing. You just can't say the right thing. You gotta do the right thing because everybody knows certain celebrities don't give two shits of a fuck about their fans. All they care about is that mean green, mean green. But it's the truth. But it's the truth, man. I'm telling you, I can tell you is because one thing is when you like I. I like certain celebrities, I do, but everything they say, I don't believe they, I don't believe everything they say or do, but I'm not going to be so obsessed with them where it ruins my life, but like I said, I agree with Kelly Osbourne saying, I agree with Lady Gaga saying, that when you are into, when you are a celebrity, 
when you're a celebrity that you gotta do the right things. You gotta say the right thing. You just can't say the right things and don't do the right things. You gotta say and do the right things. Because one thing is, hey, God, God, you can't protest about stop bullying, stop summer bullying, but you'll let your fans that are bullying Kelly Osborne go unnoticed. Like in my videos, I always say if somebody if somebody says something out the way or somebody starting no, if somebody started some shit with me, I do the video on the person and when I do the shit give my opinion, force my opinion, if exercise my right as American citizens to practice freedom of speech. I give them the link to the person that's starting something when we start talking smack to me the Facebook link either their Facebook Twitter or Tumblr link then I tell the people who are subscribed to me or f on YouTube or follow me on Twitter or Tumblr or they got me on their friends list on Facebook it's like look go talk to them but don't bully them until they commit suicide don't do the bullying don't make them commit suicide but talk to them as a human being because I want my I'm not going to say fans because one thing is they're my people I'm not going to tell my people to bully this somebody bully somebody send death threats and all this and that T to prove a point I'm not going to make them say go do this to these people till they commit suicide I'm not going to do that because that is not Afro Joe but when it comes down to it Lady Gaga, you can't be for, you can't sit there and say, I'm against bullying, but you just seen your fans bully another person, but not put a stop to it. That's making you a hypocrite. That's making you look bad. But like I said, you cannot stop anybody. You cannot control anybody. But you should have put it to the point where you say, this person said this about me but I don't think neither, none of my fans will go bully her I don't. I hope my fans don't go bullying her I hope they don't do the wrong things because you're not a like to me if, if one of my people goes out and bullies somebody so they commit suicide I'm like that's not my people I don't condone that I don't like that kind of work, uh, kind of action or acts where my people is bullying somebody to, to the point they commit suicide. That is not Afro Joe. I'm against that. And that's how it is. And you gotta, but everybody's gonna make mistakes because we're human. But you need to realize something. When you are a celebrity, your words mean gold to people. I'm not a celebrity. I can't say my words are gold. But when you are a celebrity, you're a role model, a celebrity, somebody's famous, somebody to look up to, that means your words are being, like everybody hangs on your words. And everybody listens to what you got to say, but when it comes down to it, you saying one thing, but doing a different thing, they're going to look at that, like, oh, it's like the whole eye for an eye, but you turn around and say, oh, toothful. No, it's like, it's like the whole scenario with, oh, turn the other cheek, but then you look at it at another spot saying an eye for an eye. You can't say turn the other cheek to me and then turn around and say, oh, an eye for an eye too. Oh, Kelly meant, well. you can't, Lady Gaga can't say, oh, Kelly meant well, that I was in the wrong, but y'all should bully her anyway because that's how it is. Then can't do that. It's making you a hypocrite. It makes people pass more judgment on you than anybody else. And that's how it is. You're making people pass so much judgment on you. And, like, I'm not judging Lady Gaga. I'm I'm not going to judge Lady Gaga because I like Lady Gaga. I think she's kind of fine. And I like Kelly Osbourne. But I'm not going to sit up here and say, go bully Lady Gaga because that's not me. I'm not going to tell people go bully her. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say, go bully Kelly Osbourne because that's not me because I'm not going to tell people go bully uh, Lady Gaga, uh, Kelly Osbourne or Lady Gaga. None of them. But I will say, do the right thing, man. We're all human. You cannot mean one, but do something else. And that's how it is with me. That's how Afro Joe rose. But, hey, man, that's how it is. But like I said, 
I'm gonna put the story in the description box. You tell me what you think in a comment or a video response. I'm gonna love to get a video response or a comment. But follow me on Twitter at AfroJelda Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior 2, Silo Junior 3. Uh, I like this, man. I'm putting, like, I'm trying to do more videos for y'all, but just, but that's how it is. Peace, love, and Afro. Do the right thing, y'all. Mm -hmm.